We're going to create this Vox style newspaper article motion graphic in DaVinci Resolve. I know that's a mouthful, but instead of taking hours to do this, we're going to do this in at least half the time because I tried every single method and it takes hours every single time. Manual keyframing and changing stuff around and accidentally moved something else. And now you have to go back and retweak and readjust. It's a nightmare. But the whole time I kept on thinking, what if I created a tool where you can just drag in your assets change your heading change your subheading and it builds the whole animation for you well that's exactly what i did and here's how it works in your davinci resolve timeline we're just going to drag in a text plus this will work only on the text plus oh yeah did i mention that this is totally free the link's in the description you can download the same thing drag in your text plus and then under effects i'm just going to search for newspaper article drag it on top of the text plus now you've got this whole menu instantly for you and this whole animation is here it's done it's on a transparent background so you can add any background that you want i'm just going to drag and drop this paper and then i've got a, like a grid style drag and drop in on top of that lower the opacity of the grid a little bit if i go back into the text plus under effects on top here there i can add in my photo so just click on browse search for my photo and then search for the logo so you can flip the photo around you can adjust the angle of the photo you can change the center this doesn't affect the animation whatsoever you can change the size of the logo angle again there's some nice parameters here the line size the color of the line and you can change the size of the arrow um, the angle and again you can change the colors and the background the photo background will make it that same green you can change the date like i said the date size change the background of the date the background color if you want and you can also change the height of the background and the corner radius of the date just go down the list and here you can change your heading you can put in any heading that you want any heading that you want <laughs> in here the nice thing about this is the highlight so what you want to highlight this is very nice so you can adjust the size of the highlight let's change the color to that same green so we can see it more clearly so let's change the size of the highlight the animation will play in where it highlights that word the subheading has two lines you've got a top line and a bottom line you don't have to use both lines and then you can change the bird the color of the highlight let's change this one and below down here we can highlight different sections of the subheading as well everything else is automated do that and when you play that back just like you changed it and everything is done this literally took me two minutes to do instead of like two hours to do this whole thing so i'm going to do another one go to titles drag in the text plus then i'm gonna go to effects search for this newspaper article drag it on top of the text plus then i'm gonna change everything so by default it's this so let's do one from scratch i'm gonna change the photo i'm gonna go to this one add this guy in i'm just gonna center it a little bit change the size darker i'm gonna make the background purple and then let's go to the logo i'm gonna add in a logo probably add this one fox news change the line color to the same white as well where's the arrow the arrow size here we go make the arrow that same purple let's paste in our date and then the background, I want to make it like maybe a green or let's make it the same purple. Yeah, round the corner radius a little bit. We've got the heading that we want to put in. So let's add in the heading, paste that in, change the color to white. Just adjust the size a little bit. And now we've got the highlight color. I'm going to make it a contrasty color or well, let's do like a green I'm just playing around with colors now so so let's see what we want to highlight this looks important decrease the border width here and same with the, the bottom text the subtext copy and then i'm going to make both of these white one white and white again the last one is that highlighter so i'm going to make it that same green so then we can go to the top one and then reduce the size and now we can change the background to like let's go to a vintage texture like this and this is a dark theme and the whole animation plays out 
let's do a quote same thing so let's go to titles add in a text plus again drag it out go to effects newspaper article drag it on top add like a plain background to a solid color change that change this to like a bluish color and then under effects we'll add in our photo again so let's do this guy i'm gonna change the background color i don't want it to feature i will move the line to this side change it a little bit i don't want the arrow i move this photo to the center i don't want the date there and i want to get rid of the the date background put in his quote and then i don't want to highlight anything and i don't want this to be there add his name in and the last one, I don't want the last highlight to be there. But now I'm just going to move this around a little bit. So I'll put the subheading here and then I'm just going to move the line. And there we go. Another one done. Oh yeah, did I mention that this, this is free? The link's in the description if you want to download this free macro. This is probably the most important part of the video because I'm going to show you how to install this macro so that it works properly. Okay, so after you've downloaded the macro, Dot settings file open up the Vinci resolve go to your fusion tab and then under effects open up effects templates it should be under edit and then effects folder click on this right then right click somewhere here and say show folder this should open up now you can just drag your dot settings newspaper article file in this folder and then close everything down and restart the Vinci resolve and when you restart the Vinci resolve in your editing timeline, you should see under effects when you search for newspaper article, you should see it there. This saves me so much time. When I do like newspaper article animations, I don't have to rebuild every single article again. Now, pretty ambitious. First time ever I've done something like this. So <laughs> please go easy on me. I hope you find as much joy out of this as I have building this. Leave a comment what you guys think. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear about them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.